Hi everyone, my name is Sarah from Losing Hair Not Heart and today I am so excited to be showing you from Belle Tress's City Collection their new wig Beverly Hills in the shade Coolest Ash Brown. I want to give a big thank you to Wig Studio One for sending me this wig to review and make content for. All opinions will be my own and I can't wait to give you guys my honest thoughts. This is my first time trying any wig from Belle Tress and I have to say I am so impressed with this synthetic wig. Yes, it's synthetic, but look how beautiful this wig is already. Let's go ahead and jump in and take a closer look at this wig. So like I said, this is from Belle Trust, and this is from their city collection. And this new style of wig is called Beverly Hills. And let's just take a look at this cut. I'm really, really liking this cut. It has a lot of layers and with those layers come a lot of movement as you can see. So you're getting some shorter pieces right here, cascading all the way down to the bottom and same thing with the other side. This is definitely not one of those wigs that's just one length. So if you're wanting something with a lot of layers like this, with a lot of movability, then this one might be good for you. The other thing that I'm obsessing over right out of the box is the color of this wig. And I did choose this color, but you never know when you're looking at something online and when it comes in, but I'm really impressed with this. So this one is in the shade Coolest Ash Brown, and it is more of a cool, ashier brown. And in some lighting, it definitely leans neutral. So when I take you around to different areas later, you'll see that. But this is just a gorgeous blend of a neutral to ashy brown and it's just a really great color. You can see some slight dimension of ashier pieces but nothing is a very harsh harsh highlight or anything like that. It just has very subtle dimension all throughout the piece. In addition to a great cut and a great color, this also has a phenomenal hairline. So the hairline on this one is ear to ear and I will say that it is longer than a temple to temple. So a lot of the synthetics are temple to temple right here. This one has ear to ear kind of down to the ear tab. It doesn't go all the way down to the bottom of the ear. It stops closer to right here. So you are definitely getting longer than temple to temple. I just wanted to clarify that it's not going all the way down to the very bottom of that tab. I mean, look how great that is. And there's a little bit of that brightness, that ashy brightness around the face, but this hairline is so amazing. I'm gonna take the wig off in a little bit so you can see the inside. But as far as fit, this one is listed as average, which fits like a 22 inch head. And of course, a little bit before that and a little bit more than that. My circumference is 21.5 inches and this fits great. There's no lifting on the lace, as you can see with some synthetics, maybe some of the lace lifts up. That's not happening with this. And another thing I'm loving about this is there seems to be more coverage with the ear tabs. So on some wigs, the ear tabs maybe stop right up here. So you'll have a little bit of gap where either your bio hair or your bald head will be showing. But on this particular wig, the ear tab goes pretty low. So it's not quite to my ear, but it's almost there. So you're getting a lot of coverage with this one on that side of the head, the temple area. Here's this side, like I said, going all the way down. It's not stopping up here. So those three things right out the gate have to be my favorite, the cut, the color, and the fit. One other important thing to note about this wig is that it does have that lace front and it also has a mono top, but the mono top is on the left side. So when you see when we'll take it off, but the mono top is definitely just in this area. So as long as you part it in that area, you will get what looks right here, like more of a scalp like appearance. And I don't have any makeup or scar tape or anything on this, but you can certainly put some on that to brighten it up and make it a little bit more realistic. And if you wanted to part the wig on the other side of the head, where there isn't mono a mono top you could do that but you just wouldn't have a part line that you could see it would maybe look a little bit more zigzaggy i'm just gonna do a little spin for you guys so you can see how gorgeous this cut is right here i mean how phenomenal is that how cute is that the weight on this one i believe is 4.9 ounces so it's very low density it feels very light it doesn't feel heavy at all Let's go ahead and just take her off so you can see the inside of the cap and this pixie that I'm working with. 
Once again, this is Beverly Hills and let's just take a look at that inside. So there's that invisible lace front I'm talking about and there is that hairline again, ear to ear, but it stops at the beginning of the ear tab and the lace does not go to the very end of the ear tab. So you're definitely getting more than temple to temple. And here's that mono top I was talking about as well. It's on the left side. So if I'm using my left hand, it's on my left side of my head. It has open wefting in the back as you can see and it has these very soft velvet ear tabs. There's also a velvet at the nape as well as Velcro adjustable straps. The dimensions for the nape on this one are 13 inches and the sides are 20 inches. I'm going to just show you in real time how long it takes me to put it on because it takes no time at all. So that's one of my favorite things about these type of wigs is that whenever you first put it on it just takes a second to kind of get it situated and fixed. And then of course, using a wide tooth comb to just comb her out gently. I don't know why I forgot to say this earlier, but one of my other favorite things about this wig is how flat it is to the head. There's not permatease on it, but you can see how flat it is. And I know with some synthetics, maybe they feel a little bit poofy, but this one does not. This one is sitting very flat to the head and it easily stays that way. It doesn't feel like it's getting out of control in this area or that it's just trying to poof up. So really loving that so far. And that's pretty important to me. So that is why this one I think might become one of my fast favorites. This one is heat friendly up to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. So although I already love the style, I like how flat it is. I like these straight pieces. I'm definitely curious what it would look like with some waves put in it. But just remember that this one is a heat friendly synthetic so you can style it to your liking. Let's go ahead and look at this wig and different lighting. All right, you guys, I'm wrapping this up and I'm in one more spot in my house. I am literally moving this week, so there's a bunch of stuff everywhere, so excuse the background. But as you saw in that outdoor lighting, the wig definitely pulled a little bit more neutral and lighter, so it didn't look as ashy. Now that I'm in this lighting at a different window that's not directly by the sun, you can still see that this wig is definitely a little bit cooler of a brown, but it still leans more neutral. I'm really impressed with this wig, you guys, and I think this is such a great option. It's a very livable, wearable brown. It's a very realistic color. I think what a lot of people would call a mousy brown, but it's really nice, and I think it mimics a lot of women's hair color. This wig, out of a lot of the synthetic wigs I've tried, is definitely one of my favorites. There's a lot more coverage with the fit. Everything lays very flat to the head. The lace is flat, the hair is lightweight, and the cut is really great. Definitely be following my Instagram, losing hair hair, not heart to see me wear this in real life and to keep a tab on if I style it and wash it and things like that. I want to send a big thank you to Wig Studio One for sending me this wig to try. I'm so glad I was finally able to try Bell Tress wigs. I'm very, very impressed and y'all stay tuned because I have one more wig from Bell Tress to try. So that will be coming soon. You can find this wig linked below in the description. It will take you exactly where you need to go to get this wig. So if you want a link for the Beverly Hills wig from Beltrest, just check in the description box and you'll find it there. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a blessed day. Bye!